Hi, this is Sonia Dusak. This video is going to show you how to calculate KSP if only one ion concentration is known instead of knowing both ion concentrations. So the problem here is to calculate KSP for sodium carbonate if the carbonate concentration is 1.55 times 10 to the negative 6. So for these problems, the first thing you want to do is write the balanced equation for the solubility equilibrium. In this case, you have sodium carbonate solid dissolving in water to give you two sodium cations and one carbonate anion. Now again, this is an experiment that you perform in order to de determine KSP, and what you do in this experiment is you dissolve solid sodium carbonate in water until you have a saturated, saturated solution, and then you measure one of the ion concentrations, or both. In this case, you've only measured one for whatever reason. You've measured the carbonate ion concentration. You don't know the sodium ion concentration and you want to find KSP for sodium carbonate. So one thing you can figure out by looking at this balanced equation is that for every mole of sodium carbonate solid that dissolves, you get two moles of sodium cation and one mole of carbonate anion. So because there is a two to one ratio between sodium and carbonate, this means that the sodium concentration, which you're not given initially, is going to be equal to twice that of the carbonate concentration, which you are given. So you can figure out the sodium concentration, which you're going to need to calculate KSP, by substituting the carbonate concentration into this relationship. So you have 2 times 1.55 times 10 to the negative 6 molar. And this is going to give you a sodium ion concentration of 3.10 times 10 to the negative 6 molar. So now you have both a carbonate ion concentration and a sodium ion concentration. And you can write your KSP expression. So KSP is going to be equal to products over reactants. So you have the concentration of the sodium cation raised to the second power because sodium has a stoichiometric coefficient of 2 in the balanced equation. And you're going to multiply that by the concentration of carbonate anions. And again, the sodium carbonate solid is not included in the solubility equilibria equation because it's a pure solid, and those are emitted from any kind of equilibrium equation. So all you need to do now to find KSP is substitute in your known concentration. So you know that your sodium concentration is 3.10 times 10 to the negative 6, and this is squared multiplied by the carbonate ion concentration, which you're given initially to be 1.55 times 10 to the negative 6 molar. You multiply the two, and you find that your KSP will be 1.48 times 10 to the negative 17th. So that's your answer based on that initial carbonate concentration that you were given. So the temperature here was not indicated, so this could be for whatever temperature you made your measurements at, in terms of what temperature was your solution when you would measured that carbonate ion concentration. So this is the KSP for whatever specific temperature that measurement was made at. And that's all you do in order to solve for KSP if you know only one ion concentration.